Hi everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you are having a great day. Hopefully you get to enjoy your day today. Um, so I'm just, you know, we're just chilling at home today. Not, not much different than any other day <laughs> with the whole pandemic going on. But um, so yeah, we're just relaxing, just chilling at home. And I decided to make some keto lasagna. Um, I'm excited about it because it's a different recipe from the ones that I've tried before. I know there was, let's see, I can't remember if I went live on my Facebook page or if it was in this group, but a while back I did go live and I made some keto lasagna um, using their like palmini noodles, which is, um, it's like a noodle that they make using the hearts of palm, out of palm trees. So that was actually delicious. I love that recipe. Um, the palmini noodles are awesome. They come like, you can get them, like they make them so that they're like lasagna noodles, or you can get them um, just as like regular pasta, like spaghetti or um, like fettuccine. They have all kinds of different ways that they do the palmini um, noodles. So the last time I made the keto lasagna, that's how I made it. I used the palmini um, noodles with the, they were shaped like lasagna. So it was good, it was awesome. Um, today I'm doing something different. I don't know if it's going to turn out because I have not ever made lasagna like this before. Um, but instead of using pasta or using the palmini noodles, I am using egg wraps. So this is what, this is what I'm using in place of pasta today. So I don't know if it's gonna work, <laughs> but I don't know, it seems worth trying. So um, I have, so this is gonna be a really simple, simple recipe. Um, I already browned my ground beef, so I got a pound of ground beef in here um, that I cooked because I didn't want you to have to wait and watch me cook it. <laughs> um, and then I have my pan ready. I sprayed some oil and then I put a little bit of the sauce on the bottom, you know, just, that's what I always do when I make lasagna, just to keep things from sticking so bad to the bottom. Um, the sauce that I'm using today, I have not tried this sauce before, but I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I got this off of Amazon, um, Hoboken Farms Vodka Sauce. That's what it looks like. And you can see right here, it is keto approved. And I think that that's backwards, so you probably can't read that anyway. <laughs> but um, it says keto approved. So um, it's a keto friendly sauce. Um, there's another sauce that I usually get on Amazon. I think it's called Yo Mama's or something like that. It's like a marinara sauce and it's really good too. But um, basically I just go on Amazon and I search for keto sauces. Um, and so this one popped up and I don't know, I thought it looked good. So that's what I'm using today. Um, and then like I said, I have my egg wraps. And I just, I saw these at hy V. I um, I don't know, I got them a while back and I've made like a couple different wraps just using them and they work really great. I think there's a lot of different things you could use them for. You could make like little pizzas with them or something. Um, but I don't know, I just thought, hey, that might make a really good lasagna noodle. So we're doing that. Um, I've got some ricotta cheese and then I just have a bag of mozzarella cheese. I mean, pretty simple. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do, well, like I said, I put some of the sauce on the bottom of my pan. So um, then I have my ground beef. I'm just gonna dump my jar of sauce in with my ground beef. I know everybody does lasagna a little bit different. It has their own way of doing things, but um, that's how I have always have always done it. I always mix my sauce in with my meat. So then I'm just gonna start layering things. Whoops, I'm splattering all over myself. <laughs> Good thing I have a dark shirt on. That's a lesson I learned a long time ago when I, when I make anything with any kind of sauce. Um, I don't wear 
like white or light clothes very often <laughs> because I'm so messy and clumsy, but okay. So let's see how this is going to work. Um, I'm going to cut this open. So these, um, they're, they look a lot like, um, like flour tortillas. So, I mean, that's what they look like. They're just, just like a flour tortilla, except they're eggs. So it says made with cage-free eggs, not flour, um, 25 calories, five grams of protein, zero carbs, zero saturated fat, grain-free, dairy-free, um, I don't know. They're just, I'm fascinated by them really. So anyway, that is what we're using for our, our pasta. So let me see. I just want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I think that you can see that. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it looks like it from, from my video view, I think that the pan is on the picture. <laughs> so, um, so I've got a little bit of my sauce on the bottom. I am just going to put a couple of these on the bottom. And they kinda, when you pull them apart, they kinda wanna like break. They're very delicate. Okay, so just two of them on the bottom. <laughs> And like I said, I've never tried this before. I do not know if this is going to work, but I don't know. Seems worth trying, right? Um, okay, so I've got my ricotta cheese, and I'm just going to spread some of that on there. And it kind of wants to slide all over the place, but we'll get it. Just have to chase it around the pan here. And there's really no recipe to this because I'm just kind of making it up. So, I mean, it's just, you can change it however you want to, but um, I don't really know how the servings are gonna be, but I did plug all the ingredients into my, um, my carb manager app. And if I were to make this into eight servings, it would end up being 10 net carbs per serving. So um, you could make it into more servings than that to make each piece, you know, a lesser carb count if you wanted to, but that's just kind of what I was guessing. Um, okay, so then I'm just gonna put my meat sauce on there. And you can kind of tell that the, the egg wraps don't really take up the entire Pan, so I don't know if maybe I should, I don't know, if I should use more than two. I don't know. It's a trial and error thing, so whatever I find that doesn't really work that well this time, then I'll just change it for next time. So, like I said, I'm just kind of winging it with this whole thing. Um, and my plan is I'm going to eat some of it for lunch, and then I'm going to put servings in the freezer so that I have some in the freezer for later. So... Okay, so I layered a thing of egg wraps. I did the ricotta cheese, did the meat sauce, added some mozzarella. So now I'm ready for another layer of the egg wraps. So just add that right on there. And I'm thinking this will be enough for one more layer after this. So, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Um, and then I just keep adding the the layers put more ricotta it's kind of hard to spread this in here it wants to move all over the place but i don't i have not, not really found a very easy way to spread ricotta cheese anyway i mean it always just wants to move everything so if you have any secrets i'd love to hear them so this is gonna be, I don't know, it's like not going to completely fill the pan. So I think maybe next time I might get two packages of the egg wraps. So then maybe next time, instead of putting two, instead of just doing a, a layer with two egg wraps, maybe next time I'll do four on each layer. 
so then it'll fill things a little bit better. So I don't know, like I said, this is my first time making it this way. So I will just be learning as I go, I guess. Um, Cause it's gonna be, yeah, there's just gonna be some gaps where there should be a, a noodle layer. All right. Not very exciting, I know. <laughs> Just another layer of cheese. And I, I mean, I love to make stuff like this that I can dish out servings and put in the freezer. So I always try to have, you know, like keto chili or keto lasagna or some kind of keto friendly dish in the freezer. So then when I don't feel like cooking, then I can just grab something out of there. So, all right. So then I just have another layer of ricotta. And I don't even know if I'm going to even use my entire container. I might have to adjust my ingredients that I plugged into the carb manager because I don't know if I'm going to use this whole thing. Actually, I think I can make it work. I love ricotta cheese. <laughs> it's just so good. I know some people don't really like it. If you don't like it, you could just not use it. You could just use the regular cheese. All right. So there's um, the package of the egg wraps. It comes with six, six of them. So there, it's enough for, um, you know, two wraps for each layer. But like I said, I think next time I make it, if it turns out good and if it tastes good, the next time I will probably buy two packages of the egg wraps and. I will do like um, four of them for each layer, just because it didn't really, you know, cover the pan that well. So it's just going to be kind of weird gaps in everything. Okay, my last layer of cheese, and I'm done. And I don't even actually know how long I'm going to cook this for. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of making things up as I go. So. Um, I think I'll probably just cook it for like maybe 20 minutes. I mean, I don't know. Everything, everything is cooked. So I think that's probably what I'll do. So that's what it looks like. I've got all my layers done in there. So, um, I'm going to, like I said, I have my, I just made, I have made a mess. I've got sauce all over myself. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've got the oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna cook that for like maybe 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just gonna kind of judge it and see how it looks and just take it out when I think it's done. Um, and then I'll try it and let you know how it turned out. Um, I'll post a picture of it after it's done. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think I'll probably tweak the recipe a little bit next time. I'll probably do two packages instead of just one package because then I could layer it so that it covers the whole layer of the pan. So I don't know, trial and error. So anyway, that's it. That's my lunch for today. <laughs> um, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day um, and I'll talk to you later. All right guys, have a good rest of your weekend.